One of the many great features about King Size WordPress is the ability to create an unlimited amount of single image, slider, or video backgrounds. In this specific tutorial, we're going to be discussing how to use global and single image backgrounds. So the first thing we're going to want to do is locate our appearance and theme options. Inside theme options, find the general settings tab and scroll down till you find the global background preferences. Your global background image is going to be the default image that's assigned to all posts and pages throughout your website. So here you can upload or insert a URL to the image you want to use as your background image. We recommend 1400 by 900 pixels or 900 by 500 pixels for best results. We also suggest no larger than 1.5 megabytes in size and suggest keeping the images to a landscape ratio versus portrait images. On individual pages and posts, you can override the global background preferences. So we can either create a new page or post or edit an existing one. For this example, we're going to edit an existing post. So let's locate the three columns color box gallery and we're going to click edit. On this edit page or edit post, you can scroll down beneath the content editor and you're going to find king size page or if on a post, post background options. Here you can manage your general background options, assign a single image background or enable either a slider or video background. To upload a single image for the background, click browse or insert the image URL. So in this input field, you can either insert the image URL or use the browse button to select from a file that's already existing within your media library or upload a new image from your desktop computer. Once an image is selected, we hit insert into page and that image URL will automatically be inserted into this input field. Your next option, which is slider video background, enable the background slider or video. If we leave this as a default setting, it's going to apply the single image as the background of this page or post. If we want to hide the body content so it's just the background image, we can use this selection and permanently hide the body, temporarily hide the body, or show the body as a default. What we want to do is we want to scroll up now that we've selected our image. We want to update or publish that page or post. Then we can go look at that individual post on the front end and we can see that the background we've selected is now applied to this page. If we wanted to, we can also apply the grid overlay. What the grid overlay is offering you is a more subtle background image. So you're not taking away from the content. So let's go up, click update once more. Now that we've enabled our grid overlay, we can view the page and we can see that our grid overlay is applied to this page now. So this page and any post or other page can have a unique background image or you can leave it so that it uses the global image by default. If you have any questions or concerns, we recommend you register for our support forms by visiting ourwebmedia.com support.